Okay, so you can see here, uh, it's stuck, cannot pull. So we're going to reach out to the back here, right at the back here, uh, that is uh, hook on, loosen it up. Okay, right over here. Okay, next is to remove the bottom part of the seat belt. Uh, it's just one bolt on screw. Right, it's removing the top part of the seat belt. Okay, as you can see, quite an easy process to do. Uh, so you got to remove the armrest uh, cover. It's like a container outside. Uh, there's one screw right at the bottom. Once you remove the screw, uh, this thing comes right off. Okay, so then the next step will be to remove this cover. Okay, there are four screws on this uh, back cover. Okay, to remove the back cover, uh, there are four of these uh, screw clips. Uh, I've removed one here already on the side. There is uh, one, two, three, four on the other side. Okay, so once you remove these four clips, it should be able to be able to come up, and it's easier for you to access the seatbelt mechanism. Okay, once you have removed the cover, the four screws, I just pierced out the cover a little bit, uh, and then you will be able to reach out to the locking, me locking mechanism so there is one screw at the bottom uh, allen key screw remove that screw at the bottom and uh, the whole mechanism will come out and after that just remove the airbag uh, switch here okay so the seat belt locking mechanism is already out uh, and this is how it looks like but i want to show you how to remove the airbag socket and uh, this is how you remove the airbag socket take a small screwdriver pierce it into the side uh, and out comes the uh, the airbag socket uh, and then the whole thing can be taken out now all right so this is the the mechanism that we need to inspect now to see why it is stuck uh, hopefully it's not too much problem let's see whether we need to open up the in fact compartment as well uh, uh, check the ball bearing as well so this is how it looks like and the other side and that's where the locking mechanism is inside there so let me take it step by step see hopefully I don't need to open up everything and let's see how it goes okay so this is the seat belt locking mechanism that we have taken out uh, it's fully functional now okay so in the vertical position it's okay as long as there's a sudden jerk it is about lock and if it moves anywhere left or right the mechanism will lock or it moves forward and backwards forward and backwards the mechanism will also lock all right so, 
what happened to me so I, I'm just guessing that day uh, when I was uh, using the car at the track my car spun so after spinning I guess the ball bearing inside went into a locked position and that caused my seatbelt to get locked alright so look like uh, it's an easy thing for me to resolve right now I don't need to go into the back of the cover to remove uh, to look inside the ball bearing in order to dislocate it so problem solved for me uh, get it back into the vertical position and the seat belts will be okay okay in conclusion my car is quite easy to solve uh, looks like that day in the track when my car spin looks like the locking mechanism sort of misaligned and that caused it to uh, stay at a permanent position so after I took it out and uh, align it to the vertical position uh, the ball bearing mechanism inside there seems to release this lot and went back to a proper working condition right now so let's test it see it's very smooth now beautiful all done